All right, folks. What we have here is the Maxpedition Chow Down Cooler in Tactical Black. I'm just kidding. I don't know if it's Tactical Black or not. But anyhow, it's a cooler I picked up about two, three weeks ago, and uh, I've been using it pretty fr frequently ever since. And uh, like all Maxpedition gear, this thing is uh, built for hard use. So why don't you do yourself a favor, go grab a cold one, come back, and then uh, we're going to get started on this video. Alright, so he here's the cooler, and uh, this is the Chow Down Cooler, which is the larger of the two Maxpedition coolers that are currently being produced. And uh, like all their gear, this is made out of a thousand denier Cordera nylon, which is uh, Teflon coated, it's water resistant, grime resistant. If it gets dirty or messy, you just wipe it down, uh, you rinse it off, and uh, it'll dry. Great stitching, here you can see some of this box stitching, reinforced handle, uh, it's very strong, very durable. Number 10 YKK zippers with uh, paracord pulls, like, uh, like all of their gear. And then you can see just impeccable stitching, double stitched all the way around. Uh, it comes with a shoulder strap that actually has a pad, and it's got all this webbing and foam in there to keep your, keep your shoulder cool while you're carrying your cooler around. A couple other things to note on the uh, outside of the cooler, on the back. I don't know why it has this uh, hook and loop field here. I, I don't know what you would use that for. But it has this, I mean, you could use this as a handle, but uh, what I would use this for is if I had another cooler or if I had a suitcase, like a traveling suitcase, and you pull the handle up through this, and this will just slide over top of that. It makes it a little bit convenient to carry around or, uh, to, or take around. Here, this uh, attaches via these, uh, these plastic D-rings, which seem to be pretty durable. And uh, you can see their box stitched on there as well. On this side of the bag, you have some pals or molly webbing. And uh, what I would use this for is I would put a holster so I can keep my piece on. No, I'm just kidding. I, I would use this to maybe attach a bag, like a 4x6 like a pouch or something like that, that maybe I want to store stuff that doesn't need to be kept cool. And that could be things like condiments. It could be chips, whatever. You know, if you're using this to pack your lunch or something like that, just something you could put on the side there. And on the front, it has a pretty... It's already open. Pretty big pouch here. I mean, you can get your whole hand in there. You can see it's pretty big. You can keep things in there like uh, plastic forks or whatever it is that uh, that you want to use, or um, condiments or whatever whatever it is you'd want to you'd want to have in there. So this thing is 12 inches across, and it's seven inches wide and it's eight inches high. Uh, this thing is uh, 1.6 pounds when it's empty, and it has uh, 440 cubic inches inside of it, or 7.2 uh, liters of uh, space. Now speaking of inside, let's go ahead and take a look and see what we have in here. Oh, would you look at that, some cold beer. Anyhow, when you take a look at the inside, the top of the lid is uh, insulated as well as the inside of the bag. Now I'm not kidding, I can fit 12 Miller Lights in here and that is perfect for when I walk over to see the fellers across the street, have a couple beers, sit by the fire pit or watch a game. And then inside, you have this bucket, this insulated bucket, and it's Velcroed in, so you can take it out if you need to and replace it if it ever gets dry, crack, or worn. It's held in via um, Velcro. And then you can also take it out for cleaning. Not that you're supposed to put Maxpedition gear in the washing machine. You're supposed to rinse it off, scrub it. I put Maxpedition gear in the washing machine all the time, and people be like, you can't do that, it ruins the Teflon. I don't think it ruins it. Uh, it works fine for me. I've had Maxpedition gear for years and it still looks brand new out of the box so or out of the bag is the way they ship it so anyhow just want to do a quick uh, review overview really like this cooler I put beer in it it just keep it cold overnight seems to be holding up pretty well don't have any problems with it use it daily for about two three weeks now pretty happy with the cooler so it's gonna be ape recommended thanks everybody